really creepy. Because I don't have a motorcycle license, the girl wouldn't rent me one. She rented me this little 50cc motorcycle and now we're just like going 20 miles an hour up the hill. Whenever you get to a super steep spot, it's like thing just bogs going up the hill. But the views are insane. Got the shield on over the sunnies. Headed for the village. So we made it to Malo Grable on the little sleeping beauty. Going about five miles an hour on some of the uphills. And this is actually an abandoned village that was abandoned after World War II because they had a kind of like a disease in their crops that killed off all the olives and grapes and everything that everything that they kind of like relied on to survive over here. So the lack of food forced everyone to just up and leave the village and just kind of go towards the sea where they could fish and grow stuff. And a lot of people actually moved to the United States after the World War II in that era where they were all leaving from here. So we don't really know where to go while we're here but we're kind of just going to explore some of the different places but they had a little cemetery here and they dug people up so they could rebury their family members where closer to where they moved to well, so let tanya film with this everyone in the village last name was tudor and they were most likely descendants of king henry the eighth that's interesting no but i'm like i'm kind of scared this is giving me like some and horror movie vibes. Tanya's getting those Blair Witch vibes, so she's kind of staying in one place. Oh, Tanya, you scared? Look at the little chimney. See how the door was locked on the other side of this? Try not to get hurt here. Look at this little stove. So you can tell, look, there's little cabinets, like this was someone's kitchen at one point. Look at the stove, Tanya. Ryan, you need to be careful here because you don't know what the floor is like. Oh my God, there's a bed in here. I'm definitely not walking on this wood because it's the second story of something. And don't want to fall through, but there's a little, that was the little bridge. You got to come in here, Tanj. There's a freaking bed in here. Is this safe to step on? Yeah, I'll just step on the stone and then come in. Sticking with the GoPro. Ow, oh, rusty metal. Because the lens is way wider so we can film more. Nature just kind of reclaims its domain after people leave. Look at that little bridge. Yeah, it's just stone. Holy shit. Oh my God, dude. What the f I don't know how I feel about this. That's really creepy. Check this out. There's like a suspended bed over here in this room. Ain't going up those stairs. <laughs> so this was like an olive oil mill. They used to use these to press the olives that they grew here to make olive oil for everyone. This is safe, yeah? Yeah, it's stone. How's this bedroom?
that's what you don't want to walk on. <laughs> What are you feeling, Tanj? I'm a little bit freaked out, but... I love these doors. Like, if I lived here, I'd want to, like, repurpose those doors for, like, a pantry or something at home. Full floors have collapsed over here. Here's the old abandoned church. Definitely wouldn't take those doors. Here's the abandoned church in the mountain. So this is an old abandoned Christian church that was built in 1882. There's a little placard over there with a little bit of... You can see they left like a little bit of... um. Walk on this side. First, I was kind of like more creeped out than anything. It's just so quiet up here and you're like in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by all these rock mountains. But as we're walking around, the only thing that really creeped me out was seeing that bed that was like suspended in the room over there. And there was some writing on the wall that we're going to try to like translate later when we get home. Took a photo of it so we could do that. This building looks really big over here. Here's another pretty creepy zone. Another little bed. Looks like a chimney. Whoa, this might have been a well. old abandoned well throw a bunch of water down there too where there was the olive oil press and mill over here there was actually a school above it and a teacher lived upstairs at the way top okay let's head down that way Cool, kind of creepy. Ready for the beach. Is that it? Would yeah. you suggest people come explore? Yeah, absolutely. So that about does it for this place, but that was definitely a pretty like eerie, creepy experience. I never really explored kind of like abandoned places, but I thought it was pretty cool. We're all hot now, so we're gonna head to the beach somewhere, try to jump in the water, have some lunch or something. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, it's so embarrassing.